everybody how you doing today got a whole bunch of news to sit there and bring up to you got a whole bunch of other stuff that's not really gonna be fun but anyway <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> today is Tuesday March 17th and that would be st. Patrick's Day for those of you that actually celebrate it and we are on build 6.1 Bravo and tonight I'm going to be doing episode 30 for both sides. Now, I'm going to start off with Brass Tarkin tonight so that I can get that one hour bit out of the way. And then um, I'm going to take a quick break. And right after I take that break, I'm going to start a very long session for Samara Osorio. So we've got that. Now, <clears throat> now for some of the sad news for some of you. Some of you are going to be quite grateful of this. <coughs> <coughs> Star Wars Commander. That mobile game that uh, started out, I'd have to say, three or four years ago. I don't remember exactly how long it's been. Might have even been five years ago. Well, this past Friday, that would be the 13th, unlucky day for most, lucky for others, uh, they announced a, gla a, ga a, gla <laughs> a game closure announcement. Now... You're going to see that up here on your screen right now, so let us let me go ahead and read it out to you in case you can't see it. I will also absolutely make sure that this is typed out below, I think. I might not. I don't know. Anyway, game closure announcement. Thank you for playing Star Wars Commander, by the but the time has come to say goodbye. We have decided to retire Star Wars Commander as of May 13th, 2020. All in-game purchases are suspended, but the game will remain playable. The game officially retires at 11 a.m. GMT. And for those of you that don't know what that what time that is, that is going to be 0600 uh, here on the East Coast of the United States or 0300 out there on the West Coast of the United States. And that's going to be at that time on June 12th of 2020. We will also implement in-game changes. Stay tuned for more information. We didn't come to this decision lightly. We love this game as much as you. It's been an honor to have been part of this community and thank you for playing. Well, <clears throat> one of the big changes that came up, as you can see on the lower half of the graphic I have here, is a big thank you gift for all individuals that have been part of the game throughout its time, both newcomers and old folks. Um, that, uh, let's see, um, I got this notification first thing this morning when they did the uh, change update, which comes to me at 0600. Um, it's a thank you gift. We implemented changes to the game that will be active until the end of Star Wars Commander at 11 a.m. GMT on June 12th, 2020. Including all units, buildings, and equipment have been re have reduced timers and costs. I'll get to that in a moment. New crates containing shards are available in store to be purchased with premium currency, allowing to unlock and max out units and equipment. I usually don't do the premium currency, so I'm not absolutely certain about that. All players will receive a gift of gems as a token of thanks. <coughs> Now, let's get into some of the nitty-gritty of what this came up on. I'm going to start off with the gems. One million gems. One million. In all of my things that I've done, I have not spent one million gems at all. I think the most I spent at any one time was, I think, 1,500. And I bought those specifically so that I could get um, another droid. I originally started out with two builder droids. I ended up, um, uh, I, I made a purchase that allowed me to get another builder droid. And I took the thousand that was on the 1500 that I got from that. And I bought a fourth builder droid. Okay. I don't think I'm, I, I, there's no way I'm going to be able to go through this, 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 this 999,000 
900 and some change that I've got left. I'm, there's no way I'm going to go through all that. <coughs> but I understand why they did it. They did it usually for, mostly for the individuals that had not yet started playing all the way through. And second, all units, buildings, and equipment have reduced timers and costs. I will tell you right now, everything costs one. Literally. One gold, one 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 ore, one gem, one is literally the cost of everything. And it takes ten seconds to do anything in here. Literally anything. I took myself from level 8 all the way up to um, level 11 in like two and a half hours this morning. So it's they, they've really doused down doused everything heavily with we're going to give you a big shebang everybody's going to be top level just go beat the crap out of each other for a while and i have been doing that today they still have some of their other things on there um uh they still have the crates and all that that have to go to uh that for your um goals your daily goals they still have those um, I never finished even Tatooine, which is the starter planet for everybody. Everybody starts on Tatooine. I never finished the planet story. I might be able to do it coming up through all of this. I might do that and earn some extra stuff, get some things, probably just to do it to say, hey, I did it and finished it. Um, I did take uh, screenshots of my base. I was intending on compiling it all into one and showing you guys here, but unfortunately... Um, it didn't quite come out right. Uh, some of the size differentials, and I realized that as you scroll through, the sizes expand or contract, so there's no way I can give you a complete composite of it, but I think it looks really, really pretty, and I don't know how I would be able to do a full screen to show you the whole thing. Um, there is a possibility of me being able to uh, link it into my computer, from my phone to see to show you what it looks like but I don't think I'm actually going to try that one other thing is um, <clears throat> uh, normally when you are part of a clan or group or guild or whatever they call it I think it's clan um, when you're part of that you give troops over and you get uh, reference points and all of that so that you can sit there and use and increase your uh, group's abilities and all that. Well, they reduced all of it down to one per, per thing, and you can earn up to nine per day. Originally, you could only earn one per day. Now you can earn nine. Like I said, they are doing this to sit there and give this place a complete hurrah. I am going to find out exactly how long the game has been running, and I'm going to put that on the uh, graphic somewhere, or on a secondary graphic that's going to fade out off of this. But until then, let's not even worry about that. So I'm going to close that off. Like I said, um, Star Wars Commander is closing down permanently. It will be closing down as of 11 a.m. GMT on June 12th. So you've got that going on. Now, I've wasted eight minutes of your time. Well, nine if you really want to look at it. So let's go ahead and hit play and see what kind of mess we can get ourselves into. <coughs> <coughs> oh, a little bit on my personal front. Um, I know I told you guys that I had a slight problem with Lyft. Uh, it turns out that I got accused of some nefarious acts I'm not going to go into details uh, some of my friends know what's going on others do not there's no point in it it's it's a disastrous mess that really threw me for a loop yesterday which is one of the reasons why I did not record this yesterday like I was originally intending I was a little shaken up. Yesterday again was Monday. I finally got a hold. Uh, they finally got a hold of me from the investigation, and they told me what was going on. I have been reinstated as a Lyft driver, and we will be continuing on. Additionally, 
Lyft has shut down all of their um, group share ride program where you come go into one specific spot and you get a card you take that to wherever you've got to go and then you come back um, it was not fully explained in my local TV station uh, I looked at their bit that they had on the web and they didn't explain all of it out individual ride drivers like myself are still going to be active however don't go out unless you absolutely have to, like as if your job requires you to be there and you have to go. Other than that, don't go running out to bars. Don't do what these Republican senators and, and, and governors and sheriffs and all of that have been saying. Don't go running out to bars. Don't go to restaurants. Don't go to films. Stay home. Let's kill this damn COVID-19 as quickly as we possibly can because this garbage is, it, it, it's nasty. It's really, really nasty. I've got a couple of friends that are in some other countries. Uh, one of them says that uh, his entire town is literally locked solid. They can't leave their house. And if they do leave their house, they actually have to call to find out whether whether or not they can go where they're going to go. So please, whatever you do, don't go out during this COVID-19 mess. All right, that's what it is. It is a strain of the coronavirus. We've had the coronavirus before, but this is much nastier and it spreads at a much higher rate. So that's my PSA for the day. So anyway, <clears throat> 12 minutes. And we're going to start off with this pretty little girl right here, our little blue lady. Ha <laughs> ha! It's Brass Tarthy, episode 30. Ha ha ha! Let's kick this shindig off now. How about that? All right, we are in chapter two of Brass Tarthy, and I happen to know that Samara Sorio is still getting ready to go on to Planet Alderaan in chapter one, and that's why I'm going to be doing an extended bit on, her, on his side until I completely catch up to this one so that we can have a complete parallel between the two. Oh, one other thing. I had a sudden power loss on my laptop when I was trying to uh, record this the other night. Um, 30 minutes are gone. So you're gonna see me in a completely different area. We ended up skipping over a couple of things. Um, I had to go to uh, uh, Narshada, had to go there, had to get some stuff taken care of there. Um, I had to hunt down someone on Hada. Um, so there's a couple of things that will be skipped, but like I said, I had a sudden power failure of my uh, laptop, which shut it down out of nowhere the only thing I could think of is the laptop got a little too hot. And because it got a little too hot, the um, <clears throat> processor decided to protect itself and do an emergency power shutdown because all of a sudden everything went blank and it completely shut down and died. The problem is when I have this up, my main screen shows me all my alerts and my alerts are suppressed while I'm playing a game. So I don't see any of my alerts unless I go off screen and I was not expecting anything like that. So it shut down on me. I lost a half hour worth of stuff and it was annoying to say the least. <clears throat> anyway, I got that going on. I got this going on. Um, let's see, what else we got going on? Uh, oh, a little, um, a little, um, update. That was the word I was looking for. I was thinking catch up, but that wasn't the right word. A little update on, um, from, uh, Ocean and Raven. Uh, Ocean's doing a lot better. She's slowly getting herself back up to where she can sit and start gaming. She's still having a little bit of trouble with that. Um, Raven's doing his best trying to take care of her, so 
everything's going pretty good there. As you can see from this map, we are not where we last left off in the previous one. Like I said, I lost a half hour's worth of stuff. Oh, excuse me. And we've got this going on, so come on. Show me my screen. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> and in case everybody was wondering, I don't have this coronavirus that's going around. I have all sorts of other health issues that don't always keep me feeling good. Anyway, we are on Drummond. Drummond Cause now. I actually have to go yap at my oh, yes. master and go yell at him and call him an idiot. And uh, I don't remember if we picked Jasa up in the last episode or if that was one of the things that uh, got lost in the last in the half hour that's missing. I'm not sure if I'm going to go take a look at it, but anyway, there you go. All right, let's refresh that. Let's see how much time we got on that. Two hours, 42 minutes. So we're good in that. And let's bounce our happy butts all the way up here. The Sith Sanctum entrance. So there we go. We're going to hop ourselves over there. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to smack the mic so hard. I was uh, adjusting a couple of things in, on my chair. My chair is not the most comfortable, but it is much more comfortable than many other chairs and all of that. So we've got that. All right. I've got a couple of suggestions for um, a smuggler, as a matter of fact. I, I, no. Well, no, no. Jedi Council. Council. So I'm actually going to be starting that, and that's going to be, uh, this is uh, a suggestion from my friend Chell, Chelly, who uh, subscribed a while ago. She's doing pretty good with it. <clears throat> um, she gave me a suggestion on doing a uh, purebred, or a pure blood, excuse me, a pure blood, um, what sport I'm looking for? Pure blood um, Sith as a Jedi consular. I walked down in the wrong hall. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been here. <laughs> How about that apple? Huh? Huh? Ah, that's where I'm supposed to go. Uh, of course, I needed to look for that. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, we got training going on. Let's kick this sucker up. How about that? Let's see, what do you we are got? Strong, frenzy. But you could be stronger. It's a furious frenzy, immediately building 30 stacks of fury. So let's go ahead and get this sucker up. How about that? All right, we're going to move this frenzy all the way over here. Because I know that's where my boosts are. What is that? I'll figure it out in a minute. Let's see, do we got anything regular? Oh, excellent! All right, let's go ahead and kill that. So out. no mercy. Does. Paralyze up to eight nearby enemies in one fell swoop. Oh, nice! <laughs> That's basically this roar. It's this roar on a larger scale. What we got here? Obfuscate. Vicious throw. Throws the main hand lightsaber. I'm going to move Obfuscate over here. We're going to move this to here. I'm going to drop this down here. Alright. No, I'm going to put Vicious throw up here. Because that allows that. Usable on targets at or below 30% of max. So we're going to go ahead and do that and leave that. Now, matter of fact, I'm going to move that here and move these down here a little. Let's see what else we got. Force choke, disruption. Oh my goodness, I got stuff on here I don't really want. I don't 
some of it. Mm, I don't know what to put in there. Let's see. Let's. Stabs target with zero weapon damage and causes bleed 440, 488. Uh, that's mass, mass, mass. Ah, that's not so bad. Okay, we got all that together. Oh, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. I'm gonna yell at him, then I'm gonna knock him flat on his ass. How about them apples? All right, let's get ourselves in here and see what kind of a go on. Uh oh, people don't like me. People don't like me. Everybody hates my worms. Everybody hates me. Nobody loves me. Let's go eat some worms. Uh, let's see. Master Barris. Let's tell him to stuff it up his tailpipe. What do y'all think? You think I should tell him to stuff it up his tailpipe? I'm gonna tell him. Anyway, Barris, are you responsible? Was it you who took out General Gon? It I was, did. Lord Vengeance. The fringe systems are now ripe for the taking. Such an advantage will prod the rest of the council out of passivity. They will see war is the only answer. You have delivered to me what I most crave. Give credit where credit is due. Who dares interrupt? Barris, who is this? This is my most accomplished apprentice, my lord, and the killer of Gon. Your destruction of General Gon earns you my favor, young one. Today. I will eclipse the feat tomorrow, my lord. I'm impressed with your choice of apprentice, yeah. Beris. Be. It's time. I will send my destroyer to the fringe systems, and they will be mine before anyone is the wiser. The order is given, Barris. Enact Plan Zero. Benjamin out. Excellent. I have waited a long time for this order. And I will take the Apprentice place. Plan Zero is the systematic elimination of the Republic's top military leaders. A preemptive strike that will leave the enemy headless. What kind of war will it be with so crippled an enemy? A short one with a conclusive victory. That is the point. I have been tracking of the targets for years in anticipation of Plan Zero. Oh. There's no time to waste. Make ready your ship. I will contact you there. Alright, let's go ahead and get this done. At least you didn't say anything to Jason. The torture spot. Yay. <clears throat> the non torture spot. Let's run ourselves out of here. Hello, Sith Warrior, Sith Warrior, Sith Warrior. <clears throat> now, where are we going? Use your ship's holo terminal. Why couldn't he have just given it to me directly? No. He has to make it difficult. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna call up the deck this guy. He's, he's, he's annoying me. That would be proud for me decking him. <laughs> I will be God. Oh, and I did learn something very interesting. Um, recently I learned there are three endings to the main story chapter for the for the uh, uh, Bounty Hunter. And I also heard there's three different titles or three different names that you can get from uh, the Sith Inquisitor. So I'm going to look into that and I'm going to see if I can get all three of them and take a look and see what we get on that. So we've got that going on. So I'm going to be doing a lot of extra stuff on the outside, a lot of extra stuff on the inside, a lot of this, a lot of that. Probably turn into a small frog somewhere in the middle of it. Why am I fast? Oh, I know why I'm fascinated with frogs. Because a witch will turn you into a toad if they don't like you. Frogs are nicer. <laughs> ah, a little bit of water.
Let's see what kind of disaster we can do here. Can die now, a rap a pum pum. The time to die is now, par rap a pum pum. It is the best you can do for me right now. I think you need to die, you stinking little cloud. Hip a pum pum, rap a pum pum. Yes, I am seriously messing with Christmas carols. Sorry. Apprentice, your targets are the Republic's six most important military leaders. You said that already. There are two I must still locate. Admiral Monk, who commands the Republic fleet, and Jedi Knight Zerinder, who leads an elite squad of commandos. But the other targets, the four generals of the Republic's strategic command, are confirmed to be on the planet Terrace. You must speed there immediately. I thought you said you were prepared, Barris. They will be found soon enough, Apprentice. You worry about Terrace. Sure. I will give not? you the particulars of your mission when you arrive. Barris, oh my out. He's oh, he is just annoying. Give me my mission, tell me where to go, let me loose. End of discussion. <sighs> gotta go to Terrace, gotta go to Terrace, gotta go to Terrace. I'm gonna be here anyway, so let's just do it this way, make this a lot easier. Yeah, I like this little button here on the end. Travel. Make a fool. Hey! And let's start this shindig. How about that? My lord, I'm preparing for my assault on Taris. Excellent. Your mission on Terrace is to take down the Republic's entire strategic high command. You said that already. The War Trust. The four generals who implement the bulk of the Republic military forces' strategic planning are all on Terrace as we speak. They are done. Normally, they're never together in one place. This is an incredible opportunity. Tell me about these generals. Yes. The War Trust has stretched the Republic's resources and fought us to a standstill time and again. They are master strategists. No, they're not. Generals Ferrer, Mentz, Durant, and Felker should not be taken lightly. Take Each will likely be protected by his own elite guard and they have all the Republic forces on Terrace at their disposal. Hmm. That's bad news. I don't like the sound of that. This will likely be the largest scale assault you have ever undertaken. Moth Hurden leads the Imperial forces on the planet. He will provide whatever resources he can. Shuttle to the surface and seek him out immediately. Uh, okay, sure, why not? I just reali I realized a little while ago that my headphones, you could probably pick up some of the stuff on my mic, so you might get a very slight echo in the background between uh, what's on the screen and what's actually going on. So there's that little hilarious part. I gotta talk to someone, I gotta talk to someone. I gotta talk to someone, I gotta talk to someone. Oh, I gotta talk to Mr. Dents. Malabai, oh Malabai, I will eat your brains for breakfast. My lord, I seek advice. As a military man, above all else, I value discipline, the chain of command, and uncompromising dedication to serving the Empire's interests. But yeah. There's a built-in dilemma. When my instincts tell me that a superior is jeopardizing the Empire, it makes my path less clear. Do you have a problem with my leadership, Quinn? No, my lord, you mistake me. My concern is about the legacy of my former commander. I stood by as Moff Broisk's random whims compromised countless missions. It is a mistake I refuse to repeat. 
Defying him ruined my career, but I should have done it sooner. No matter the consequences. If he made you this tenacious and exacting, you owe him a great debt. That is a startling perspective, my lord. <laughs> Your example and guidance give me clarity. Thank you. I am more focused now. I have no complaints about your thoroughness or commitment. I'll never give you reason to, my lord. I won't take up any more of your time. I did say the last time in one of my episodes that I was going to go through the fleet and show you what it looks like, show you where everything is, and say, hey, here's what's this, here's this, so I give you a full tour of the fleets. On both sides, I'm going to be doing that, sit there and show you where their differences are, so that you can see. Just to see what goes on. What happens when your chocolate turns into a bug? Got a message. All right, let's put that back up there. I'm waiting for a message to come through. Oh my goodness, I am so boring, boring, boring. Into your scope, boring, boring, boring. Into your scope. Ha ha ha. I got a <coughs> message saying that they're going to go live, and I'm trying to find that out. Oh, I just landed. Good as new. La la la, la 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 la, I am doing some weird things because it's fun. I'm doing some weird thing because it's Fun. Bunny, bunny, me. I think this is a win. Think, 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 think. Blah, 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 blah. Ooh, go to the orbital Stopped 
Headed to Tardis, my lord? Let me clear a shuttle for you. And please, forgive the delay. The planet hasn't seen this much action since Darth Malak occupied it centuries ago. Now that the Republic's rebuilding their shattered cities, the Dark Council is determined to destroy the planet once and for all. Uh-huh. Do we have the Republic on the defensive yet? I haven't seen the latest reports myself, I'm afraid. If you're ready to head to Tannis, your shuttle's cleared for launch. I am ready to head to Tal. I'm all set. Yeah, let, 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 I'll tell Imperial Command you're en route. Speak with Captain Hellet if you wish to join the fight. I do not wish to join the fight. I wish to be the fight. Now just go here. Ooh, that's a Sith Lord. We are not allowed to hurt the Sith Lord. We are, however, allowed to beat the crap out of the Sith Lord. Not hurt the Sith Lord. Came out at the same time. <laughs> Pretty little dog on my brain, on my brain, on my brain, on my brain, my brain, on my brain, on my brain, my brain, on my brain, my brain, on my brain, brain, a brain, a brain, a brain, a brain, no brain. All right, let's see where we're actually supposed to go. We're supposed to go up here. Go yell at this guy up here. Oh wait, who is this? Customization vendor. Social item vendor. I'm gonna talk to him real quick. Care to take a look at our ordnance? I do not wish to look at your ordnance. I wish to sell garbage. What is this? Two pieces of armor. What is this? 32 compared to 40. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Let's see, I need social four or up. Well, let's pop this sucker open real quick. For the Empire. notice that on here there is oh stuff for the little when those before they got switched out there was a little arrow that was going up that shows that you are able to up if it's a better item than what you currently have on so we'll sit there and deal with that why do I want sparkle blue power care to take a look at our ordnance used for parties do I even have parties? I don't think I have parties. Anyway, I'm going over here. Alright, let's go over here. Alright, companion customization. What do I want her to look like? So let us make a good hard look. Oh, Jessa, Jessa William. Why can I not get this? What can I get for you? I can get this. Why is it? Oh, oh, oh. I get it now. All right, let's.
let's uh, preview this first off. View over here, see what we got. Okay. any of those. I'll take that one. Let's kill that out. Kill that out. Come back anytime. Oh, wait. <laughs> Pick this up. Computational Devas. olive-type skin, and I think it looks great. Let me take, check this mess right now. There they is. Captain Haley. Haley's Comet. Haley's Comet. Haley's Comet. Hey, Comet. Comet, Comet. Mao, hey! Welcome to Taurus, my lord. I'm Captain Haley, Imperial first. Military Command. So? Your arrival was unexpected. Good. The Supreme Commander of Imperial Forces on Taurus has requested a word. Dr. Gravis, the new arrival. I sensed your presence. Such mastery of the force is rare and impressive. Care to lend your lightsaber to Taris's destruction? What's the situation here? It's simple, really. The Republic's trying to rebuild Taris. We are here to demolish it. If you desire to stand by my side and serve the Empire, Swat down the Republic artillery firing on our base. If my time allows. Make the time. Wound the Republic. Seek me out when the artillery is in pieces. And then we'll discuss your role in the greater conflict. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Yeah, I know about busting. direction, let's run on this direction. Oh wait, I gotta go out this way. Oh, that's where I gotta go. I forget. Forgot. Terrace is a literal shithole. There's no easier way for me to explain that that is Terrace in a nutshell. For those of you that don't know, in Knights of the Old Republic, one of the first things that you have to do Quite honestly, one of the very first things you have to do is escape Terrace. Now, Darth Malak bombards the living hell out of the place, rips it to pieces, shreds it, turns it into a literal disaster. Ooh, boarding party. I might do that in a few. I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. Where is this? This planet unnerves me. I sense such suffering here. Heroic. Yeah, that's because it tried to get turned into chocolate bombs. It literally looked like hell. Super curious. 
I'm gonna check something real quick, so bear with me. What's the emergency droid? This is Darth Malgus of the Expeditionary Fleet. I bring greetings from the Viragi Sector. You are the Lord who brought Norman Carr to his knees. Now I ask that you stand at my side and carry the Emperor's banner to war. Huh. I have other business, Malgus. What if I say no? Then I will wish you speed and fortune. But I ask you to hear me out. Mm. For three centuries, our Emperor has held a Jedi Master prisoner, prolonging his life and his torment. The Jedi Master possessed a secret, the location of the Foundry, an ancient space station of untold power. Both the Jedi and his Foundry concern us today. Oh, really? Uh... What do we know about the Jedi Master and this space station? Each could dominate worlds. The details are not your immediate concern. The Emperor sought to pry the Foundry's location from the Jedi's mind, but for centuries he resisted. So the Emperor has set him free. Predictably, the Jedi Master fled to his Foundry and brought the Republic Armada with him. He has led us to our prize, if we have the courage to claim it. Really? You can justify it how you want, but it sounds like this Jedi got away. Whatever the truth, the advantage must be ours. A fleet of 30 Terminus-class destroyers is gathering. We may meet with Moff Fenir aboard the flagship, where he is coordinating the attack. We will capture the Foundry, and slay this Jedi at last, and all the Empire will roar in triumph. Travel to the Imperious Light. Let's see something real quick. All right, all right, all right, all right. Journal, there's what we're looking for. Come on, bring it up. Oh, log, log entry. L, dummy, L, there we go. All right, a call to arms. Let's see. Level 48. Wait, am I level 48? I'm level 48. Let's go ahead and see if we can do this real quick, because if we can, I'll go ahead and do it, okay? So let's go in there.
now, where actually are we? Uh oh, don't freeze. Don't you freeze, you dog faced freak. No, no. Don't freeze. Oh my goodness, you froze. Oh, no, no, no. I don't think it froze completely. It's just jammed up a bit. Uh oh, it might be. frozen so so this this is not good I have no idea where I am so that does not help oh my goodness my screen itself is actually frozen <laughs> oh my goodness um folks I'm gonna have to out why I'm so frozen at the moment. So, oh heavens, um, I'll do what I can, Master. Yep, my screen is frozen, so I'm gonna have to stop on that, force this to shut down. And we're going to spring this right back up in just a moment, all right? So hopefully it didn't completely blast out. So, yeah, there we go. <clears throat> yeah. Yay. Give me a moment. Yes, that's my thing yelling at me saying, yes, we can start back up. All right. I wait for this to come up. I need to look at a couple of quick things. All right. Bring that up. I know you guys can't see this, but yeah, I'm completely frozen on this, which I don't understand why I'm frozen. Maybe my encoder, like, yelled at me and said, screw you guys, we're going home. I don't know. But I have already restarted the game. I'm just waiting for it to finish bringing everything up. Sorry about this. But I know you heard that. That was the game restarting. Give me a moment. It's going to reset all the way around, I hope. Yes, I froze at this position. You see it, I see it, I'm upset by it. So, let's see if we can get everything to come. Did you die on me? Oh my goodness. Nope, nope, there it goes, there it goes. Almost in, almost in. It didn't quite pop in the way I wanted it to. Alright, let's see if it will release the screen over here if it does that'll be great but right now the screen is still showing what you see uh, my screen is completely blank so I'm gonna see what it's trying to what the heaven Oh, I see what's going on. Okay, okay, come on. Bring it in. If this dies at this point, I'm going to end the recording here, and I'm going to figure out what's gone wrong, and then I will be back for the other half, or the other part of what I'm going to do. Mm, this is driving me nuts. Why is it not coming up like it's supposed to? All right, I'm bringing up my task manager real quick. I'm gonna see what's going wrong because sometimes I'll have a overlap. Up, uh, up. Uh, wait, are you not giving me? You're not giving me visual. Oh my goodness doing it again 
Okay, folks, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stop my recording right here while I try to clear this out. I'm probably going to restart the computer completely and get all this to uh, completely refresh because apparently something has gone wrong. Um, you could see what I, you could see on the screen where I froze. Everything is off. I've got new stuff coming up on this, but it's not showing up on my screen. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to. I'm going to call it at this point, so I'm sorry about loss of what you see on here, but I'm going to try to save and make sure I still have what I've done already up, because like I said, my laptop doesn't like me all the time, and I can really use the help. Um, thank you for watching. I'm sorry that something crashed out on this. Well, I'll try to figure it out and get the other, get the Samario, the Samara. Osorio episode started and once I can get all that started I'll let you know what I had to do so that we can get all this taken care of but until then